Hey guys, Pippin254, or Dark Shrouded here, and welcome to Game Reviews and More. Uh, this is my second submission to Game Reviews and More, the other one being a Perfect Dark commentary, but uh, this is a little more standard. This is a little bit of Black Ops. I'm rocking the M16 Thermal. Uh, perks Hardened, or Hardline Hardened Amer Ninja, what am I thinking? But, um, that doesn't really matter. You'll see the gameplay. It's, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, it does cut out a little bit, uh, I think halfway through. We had a fairly decent lead, though, so I'll, I'll count it for a win. But the main focus I wanted to talk about, and the reason I chose the M16 Thermal, is just weapon diversity and the quote-unquote definition of skill in Black Ops. Now, the main example I want to use for this uh, definition of skill in comparison to my M16 Thermal class is to l the love-to-hate 74U class with the grip and rapid fire that everyone seems to run these days. And I hear it from a lot of people while I'm uh, playing in Black Ops, just a lot of complaint about the 74U, about people rushing around, and how they quote-unquote have no skill, and things like that. And I just want to kind of talk about that, and because I've been thinking about what really defines skill pertaining to Black Ops. And I was thinking about this for about, about two hours, just sitting around thinking, it is summer breaks, so why the heck not? And I finally came up with a definition of skill by the definition of a first-person shooter. And what I came up with is, skill is the efficiency and or completion of gameplay objectives and goals. Now looking at this domination game, the goals are pretty o pretty obvious. We need to cap two flags, or if possible, cap all three flags and get to 200 points before the enemy team does. But there is one universal goal in Call of Duty that people tend to forget. And I think, I don't really think they forget it. More is, it's not really noticeable because you're doing it all the time. And that is to kill the opposing team. No matter what your objective is, whether it be capping flags or capturing the flag or uh, holding a headquarters down, you are inadvertently succeeding in the objective of killing the enemy team. Now, with these objectives, you need to think of the right weapon set in mind. In the case of my M16 Thermal, this accomplishes a very interesting goal. The infrared allows me to see a little bit better, or see the enemies a little bit better, in rainy environments like this. It means I can use smoke grenades on objective points to flush people out and see other people where they can't see me. This is the set goal of this uh, weapon class, and this is why I'm using it here, because it's a very, very easy to see goal. But you can see the flaws with this um, class setup. I'm not very good at close range. The scope takes a little bit to zoom in. These are all disadvantages that cannot really help me in close quarters situations like this. Now, when somebody... let's go back to the 74U. The 74U with a... say... what, what are the perks that a lot of people like to use? Ghost. Uh, let's see, Warlord for the grip and rapid fire. And then a lot of times I see Marathon. This class setup gives you a lot of advantages pertaining to the general goal of Call of Duty. And that's why a lot of people use it so much. Ghost, for example. Spy planes are quite common. You use Ghost, you don't get detected by the spy planes. Warlord. Grip and Marathon. Very, two very useful attachments. Or, Grip and Marathon. Grip and Rapid Fire. <laughs> uh, rapid Fire. Faster rate of fire. Killing faster. Grip. More accuracy. More bullets on target. Killing faster. Now let's look at Marathon. Faster rushing. Get to the enemy team quicker. Kill them faster. Even with Ghost, if you don't get detected by spy planes, you're not detected by the enemy, you can kill them faster. You notice the general goal in all of this. And I don't think it's because people want to be kill... Or, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think it's because people want to be kill horse. We, got, we get that term from people in objective game types who don't cap flags, who don't do things like that, etc. And with my class, I'm not a very good flag capper, but I'm doing it anyway. Why? Because I'm, I feel more comfortable capping objectives, because I'm not very good at killing people. So I may as well do my part for the team. These other people who are quote-unquote kill whores with 74 U's, something like that, perhaps they're a little bit better at killing than they are at capping objectives. And that doesn't necessarily mean they don't care about the objective. Perhaps that just means, okay, you cap this objective, I will suppress this corridor and kill every single son of a bitch that comes through here. Inadvertently, if they're doing that, they're helping you cap that flag, because nobody's going to kill you while you're on that flag. 
and say somebody that goes like um, 102 and 4. I see a lot of those gameplays where people go 102 and 4 and have zero caps and zero defense. In all honesty, that tells you absolutely nothing. Because you don't have to be on a flag to be able to cap it. Well, you, by technicality, you do. But you can be up on the front line supporting, prevent a Semtexas from going out and hating the flag. You can be covering a corridor. You can do a lot of things to help the capping of the flag without physically being on that flag. And with the 74U, this grants high mobility, high rate of fire, and overall, the greatest way to kill people. This is just one of many classes that you can use. It's just a lot of people use it because they're because of the universal goal of Call of Duty, to kill people. There are a bunch of quote-unquote secondary objectives and game types where you have other objectives to accomplish, like flags, headquarters, etc. But what's the universal goal? And a lot of people forget this. To kill. To kill the opposing team. And inadvertently, if you're doing that, the opposing team can't get on the flags. Can't get on the objective. And that's the goal. This is Pim254, Dark Triad. Unfortunately, it cut out there. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, that's my take on this whole Sheboygan stuff. So, thanks for listening. Have a nice day. Take it easy.